Ease raised to the third power, video six, outputting before exam. Do you stay up all night to cram for an exam? Do you want to feel more confident going into the exam? Do you want to know some good ways to study for exams? If you have answered yes to any of these questions, then this video is for you. Outputting. Remembering is outputting to retrieve the stored info. If you are given a study guide, then output those topics to study for the exam. What should you study if you don't have a study guide? There are many topics that may be on the test, but because of time, not all topics will be on the test. So try to predict which topics will be tested and study those. If you don't have a study guide, top priority should be topics covered in lecture. The more lecture time was spent on that topic, the more likely that topic will appear on the test. This is why you should always go to lecture. If you don't have a study guide, second priority should be topics that were not mentioned in lecture, but you were told to read about them or they were in your homework. Students who do well usually know much more than what is on the test. They may not know everything, but they have predicted and studied well. Before the test, do not passively input. Looking over the notes or textbook will fool your brain into thinking you know the topics because you have seen them before. Thus, when you get to the test, you blank out because you really do not know them. What is an exam? It is an exercise in outputting. To prepare for a test, you should practice outputting. As the exam gets closer, you should output more than input. Practice makes perfect. Common mistakes of studying for an exam. Many students make the mistake of only passively input info, but never output before an exam. The first time the output is on the test. Big mistake. Brain rule. When you study, alternate inputting and outputting to check how much you remember. Do not continue to store more info when you cannot remember what should be stored already. Brain rule. Definitely do the assigned homework problems and then do more problems in other books or online to increase your speed and understanding. Brain rule. Practice by solving problems on different topics instead of solving several problems on the same topic. The test will probably have questions on different topics mixed together. Output using flashcards. Look on one side and predict what is on the other side. Output using pictures by labeling. Start with an unlabeled picture and label. If you only have labeled pictures, then cover the labels. Make sure you spell correctly if you are graded on spelling. Output using practice tests. If available, take a practice test written by the same person who will be testing you. Be sure to check your answers. Output by brainstorming. Start with a blank paper or board and write keywords on a specific topic in a few minutes. Do not worry about complete sentences. This is good practice for short answer questions. Output by mind mapping. It is similar to brainstorming, but more organized. Write the topic in the center of a blank page. Then write details radiating out from the center. Draw lines linking any related details. Output by teaching. Try explaining it to someone else, especially in a study group, so they can correct you if you are wrong. Output by writing questions. Try to predict what would be on the test by writing your own questions and answers. Output by quizzing other. You can also quiz your peers, especially in a study group, using the questions you wrote. Then let your peers quiz you in return. Test format. The best way to study for a test with problems to solve is to solve many problems. For short answers, use brainstorming, mind mapping, or teaching others. 
All outputting techniques will help you with multiple choice questions. Ask if you can write directly on the test and if an answer sheet will be provided. Buy your supplies at least a day in advance. Do not wait to buy them at the last minute because something may go wrong. Sleep. Now that you have studied well the appropriate contents by inputting and outputting, you have the supplies needed and you are familiar with the test format, get a good night's rest. Brain rule. Your brain is very active when you sleep. Moving info from short-term to long-term memory, consolidating info that you have studied, and eliminating neurotoxins. You miss out on these benefits when you stay up all night. Brain rule. A sleepy brain thinks slowly, retrieves stored info poorly, and is more likely to make mistakes. Do not go into the test with a tired and sleepy brain. If you stay up all night cramming, it will undo all the hard work that you have put into studying. Big mistake. So by following these tips and getting a good night's rest, you should have less stress and less test anxiety. You will improve your study habits, understand more, and get better grades. Now you're ready for the real fireworks, that is the test. So let's go to video seven, test taking techniques.